Wednesday, June 1st, 2022, 4.48 p.m. And I am about to leave for the airport to fly to Paris and move there. I'm feeling a lot of emotions right now. I'm feeling excitement. I'm nervous. I'm sad to be leaving my family. My mom's coming with me, but I have yet to say goodbye to my brother, my dog, and my dad. This is really crazy. I can't believe the day has finally come. Like June 1st has finally come, the day that I've had in my head for months now. June 1st, I moved to Paris. Today is June 1st. It still doesn't feel real. I don't I like, I have not processed it. It's really crazy, but this is the beginning of my moving to Paris vlog. I'm gonna live in Paris? What? <sighs> this is so insane. I think I should just go and get this journey started. <sighs> I'm moving to Paris. Let's go, let's move to Paris. <laughs> Welcome to Paris. Oh my god, we just got to the apartment. I'm seeing my apartment for the very first time. We just came in, had a little meeting with the landlord, signed some papers, and now let me show you my apartment. First the door, you walk in, there's some hooks here. This is the kitchen keep in mind it's obviously a small apartment because it's a little studio it's furnished so all of this came with the apartment i have my little fridge i'll do like a full apartment tour once i unpack and decorate oh everything is so nice then here the kitchen bar where i'll be eating all my meals and the little stool and then the main part it is so beautiful so nice everything is like white and gold and black which is like perfectly my aesthetic so first we have a little coffee table and then this is the couch that turns into a bed this super nice chair some shelves the window which i'll open in a second then and the desk, the little desk lamp, and a rolly chair. We have another picture here, and then the closet. We have some hangers, Swiffer, shelves. Look how beautiful. This is my apartment. This is my first time seeing my apartment. What? And then over here, we have the laundry, just a washer, and this stuff, and then the bathroom. 
So we have mirror that you can like change it up with these buttons, which is so cool. Different like types of lighting, like warm or cool or white. Sink and then drawers, the shower, another mirror that is even more storage and the toilet. And now here is the window to a Parisian street. Look at that. So this is my new home. What? Obviously, there is so much decorating and unpacking to do. Like, I have three checked luggages and one carry-on suitcase to unpack. So we have a busy two weeks ahead of us while my mom's here. We're going to be doing all the moving and stuff, which I'm going to be vlogging. I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm finally here. I have been staring at these pictures for the past, like, three months. I just moved to Paris. What? It is 8.31 at night, Paris time right now, and my mom and I are so tired. I did not sleep on the plane. She barely slept on the plane, and we have so much to do. So right now, we're just organizing a little bit, setting a few things up before we crash. First thing we got, some pillows, Swiffers, a measuring tape. We picked up this papier d'armenie. It's like a little old-fashioned paper booklet, and it's scented papers. Apparently, you burn them, and it smells really nice, and this one was my favorite scent. It smells so good. It's rose. I just noticed that actually. I didn't know it was rose. I just thought it smelled nice. Got a bunch of cleaner stuff. This is sink cleaner. As you can tell, my mom is really helping me with all this. Couldn't do it without her. Kitchen and bathroom spray. Toilet cleaner. Two soaps. One for the kitchen, one for the bathroom. Two shower gels. Both of them smelled really good. One is mango. One is grapefruit. La Roche Posay body cream. So that's kind of it. A mix of like necessities for us and necessities for the apartment. I'm so tired. So now I'm gonna help my mom organize the apartment, unpack a few things. And we're gonna go to sleep, which I'm very excited to do. I'm in Paris, what is going on? I've looked at the Eiffel Tower all day today and I'm like, is this real? I'm so excited. I'm also delusional from no sleep, so see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's now June 3rd. It's 8 12 in the morning. We woke up about an hour ago last night after the last time I vlogged We set up a lot like I tried to unpack a lot and just kind of organize like I did my books there I put some stuff in the bathroom and then oh my gosh, my view is so nice I was taking so many photos and videos of it like it's actually crazy I'm really tired right now, but I was actually freaking out last night because I was like, how is this my view? because the apartment doesn't say it's like an Eiffel Tower view apartment. And when my friend came to visit, she said she couldn't see the Eiffel Tower. If you lean out far enough, then you can see it, which is so cool. But anyways, this is what I'm looking at right now. Like, oh my gosh, it is such a mess. We have so much to do. The bed last night was actually really comfortable. I had a really good sleep, my first sleep in like two days, I think. The only thing that's kind of funny is that you see how there's like two lights here, this one. Oh my God, you can kind of see in the camera. It never turns off. There's no way to completely completely turn it off so we kind of have like a nightlight which like I don't need but doesn't bother me that much but then also if it's on constantly that's gonna like add to the electricity bill so if I go under the light you can kind of see that one's off and that one's on okay let's get day two of moving into Paris started this is my outfit of the day I have my purse and I have these new case to five straps that I can like put my phone on and then I wrap it around my hand because I really don't want to get pickpocketed so I'm gonna wrap this like five times around my hands and it's Super secure. Got a taco pump for breakfast. Delicious.
we just got back from our nice little dinner at this restaurant that Ina Garden recommended. My mom loves her. Got to watch the lights, which was really, really nice because yesterday we went to bed before the light show started. And I can't believe I live here. It still hasn't hit, you know, because it's only day two. Still feel like a little tourist with my little camera. I'll always look like a tourist because I'll always be filming. But let's do the haul. First thing are some European Apple plugs for my phone so I can finally charge my phone. Thank goodness I had my backup battery last night because that's how I charged my phone. Then also at Apple, we got this like world travel adapter kit. Only gonna need to use the European one, but they didn't have it like sold separately. So this one will be for my MacBook. It's like the little piece that goes in the charger. You can see there. And then we got two like regular adapters for our North American plugs. And then we also got the diffuser that is already set up in my kitchen to kind of make the whole place smell really nice because right now it smells like furniture and paint. So I got that. I also got this candle, which smells so good. It has lemon, frangipani, and cedarwood, and it's called Morning Mantra. And then the little blurb is Memories of Summer's Past Rush Back in Waves. We also went to pick up a straightening iron because my mom needs a straightening iron while she's here, and then she's gonna leave it and give it to me. So thank you, mom. And then I'm so excited for this. I have been looking for some new white shoes because my are like so dirty right now. I got new Nike Air Force Ones. Tried them on. They're so nice. I'm so excited. I got a little mini garbage can for the bathroom. So cute. It's literally like the size of my head. I think that's pretty much everything that we got today. It was a whole lot of walking. Oh, and then also we tried to get my friend's phone number today from free and he was about to like start me on the unlimited data plan, which is only 15 euros a month. So it's not that bad. But then I saw that the 10 year old month one was um, 90 gigabytes of data and like right now my family's plan for the four of us is 80 gigabytes so I was like I can definitely use 90 for just myself so I was like let's just do the 90 one so we set it up I got my new phone number you actually got to choose from a list of phone numbers so that was pretty fun and then we realized that I can only text within Europe so I couldn't text everyone from Canada you know that's all my friend and family but since I had just made my account we like have to wait like a couple of days but he said that he can probably like just call and fix it tomorrow so we're gonna go back tomorrow and I'll have my friend's number which will be really exciting but that is day two's update see you tomorrow <laughs> Day three in Paris. We just went to pick up some breakfast before going to Ikea. I got that little tartin au pomme again that I had yesterday for the first time. It was really good. And I got a big orange juice because we found this grocery store that sells like a liter of freshly squeezed orange juice, which is like my favorite drink here. So I'm gonna try it, see if it's good, and then I'll buy like the big jug to keep in my apartment. But yeah, we're just gonna walk and eat and then head over to the Ikea. It's like raining on and off today, but the sky is like super blue. So it's a really pretty day, but I have my umbrella out just in case it starts to rain again. I'm wearing a little white tank top with my Princess Polly cardigan and some shorts and I'm excited to get a lot done. We just got back home from another very busy shopping day. It's like six o'clock right now. Today we went to Ikea, spent a long time in there, and then we drove back to the apartment, dropped everything off, and then we went back to like that same Macondi Small to go to the Apple store and get like a second European charger for phones so that I have, you know, like a guest charger. And then we went back to the phone place, but I still can't switch my plan to the one that allows me to text Canadian numbers. So that was a fail. So I'm gonna do a haul 
bowl and then I'm gonna go shower and get ready for dinner because we're going to a really nice dinner tonight because it's my parents anniversary and I'm here with my mom so I want to have a special dinner with her since she can't be with my dad so first from the little store I got this hairbrush and then I also got this soap dispenser which I'm gonna put in the kitchen because I wanted to get a black one for the kitchen and a white one for the bathroom but the one at Ikea like the black one at Ikea was sold out so I got this I feel like it just makes you know the apartment look a little more put together when I have these types of things could just be me now my big Ikea haul first I got this lap desk if you know the story of how my computer literally died and broke and everything was lost because I didn't have one of these needed to get one we got 70 hangers from Ikea so I can finally hang up my clothes and not have to live out of duffels and then I got a pink towel set so I got pink shower towels foot towels and hand towels for the bathroom and I got two of each then I also got this black stool that I'm going to put next to the front door so I can sit on it to like tie my shoes and stuff got this little like desk organizer thing so it folds into like a big I guess like pocket like this I don't know the word whatever and then like three smaller ones that go down so I'm gonna assemble that I got another candle this one is grapefruit and it comes in like this really pretty like blue holder it smells really good then I got four hooks for the bathroom for like towels and other things and then this is the little set that I got for the bathroom so there's a soap dispenser there's a little cup and a tray then I got this little shelf thing for in the shower then I got these really cute hooks that I'm gonna put I have like three hooks already for jackets next to the front door and then I'm gonna put three more these were so cute I find them like so unique I saw them in one of like the example rooms and I was like I want that then I got this little loofah set the cutest colors like a turquoise a white and a light pink then I got two under the bed storage things and I got two little storage bins that will go in my closet for some clothes and then I got this dish drying rack with these little spikes so that I can like put my dishes here then I got this really big poster I think it's really cute it is a little touristy but I still really like it and then I got this massive white drying rack for my clothes because I don't have a dryer in here okay you can't even see what's in this box but this last thing that I got is a white bedside table that I'm gonna put next to my bed right now I have these little like gray cubes that came with the apartment since it's furnished so I'm gonna move those gray cubes under the bookshelf there and I'm gonna move the bed over to make space for a bedside table so that's what this is and that is everything that we got today it was a very long day but very productive once again so I'm gonna take a shower and hopefully have a very nice dinner Good morning, Paris. Today is day four of moving in, and it's also a Sunday, so we're gonna have a pretty relaxed day. Not really go shopping to any stores, because a lot of things are closed on Sundays, so we're mainly just gonna stay here and, you know, organize, unpack, clean, do all of that. And later today, my mom actually booked, like, a spa experience at this really nice hotel that her and my dad stayed at in 2019. So we're gonna have the spa in the afternoon, but for now, we're gonna go out to breakfast and then come back and do some work on this apartment to, you know, make it feel more set up and put together. Let's go! Okay, got some of my clothes hung up so I can finally like live like a normal person instead of out of duffel bags. I'm just gonna leave some of my sweaters here for now because there's not that much space right now with my mom's stuff. I do have a few more like pajamas and bathing suits and socks to do, but for now, this is how I'm gonna leave the closet. Very happy that I had time to do this. And there's actually like a lot of space. Like I have that much still, which is a lot. And then this is where my mom's stuff starts. So I have all of this too. And then of course I have two shelves that haven't even started to fill. And now we're gonna head off to our little spa.
starting the day with a smoothie and now we're walking towards the Seine and we're gonna go back to try and finally get my phone number and then we're going to BHV Mache which is the department store we went to to get a straightener and they actually have so much like home decor and like home appliances so hopefully we're gonna get a lot for the apartment so that's the plan for today Another day of getting stuff done is over. We were super productive today. I'm gonna do a little haul of everything that we bought today. I couldn't really vlog that much because one of the things that we bought was so heavy. I was carrying it. It was even too big for the bag I was carrying, but we got a lot of stuff today and we also did a lot of organizing last night. It's kind of hard to like film it though because I haven't really figured out where I can like put my tripod yet. And obviously I wanna be helpful and actually do stuff, not just sit back and film it. So I'm gonna give an update onto what we did last night and other than that today was a really good day it was a nice sunny day it's been raining the last two days so we walked to where we went shopping and then we had an amazing lunch at this place called paradise du fruit or something like that definitely going back there like it was such a fun place and then i took a nap and then we walked over to la grande Épicerie, which is a grocery store that's where we had lunch the other day so we both got some sushi for dinner came back and ate here it's the first meal that we're eating in my apartment so that was super special but now I'm going to go through the apartment and show you what we've done we like hung one of these things for a kitchen towel put my soap in this soap dispenser and then over here is the box for the vacuum cleaner that we bought today so I was carrying this huge box around and since I was carrying this someone actually thought that I was a local and they asked for directions for me someone also asked me for directions when I was waiting for my mom outside of Ikea so two people have thought I was a local and then last night we set up these little chair hooks from Ikea and then we also taped up this poster from Ikea I love it so much it's like right there when you walk into the apartment we made this little stool for putting on my shoes then we went to then we went to Muji, which was so good. So I got three pens. They got two black and one blue. And then I got a bunch of organizers. So this first organizer is a jewelry organizer. It comes in this little box and you slide it out. So they have like little hooks here where I'll put my necklaces and bracelets. And then we also got this little gray organizer thing for my rings. And then I also got a makeup organizer and then two little cups, I guess, for my makeup brushes. So that will go together. I also got these two blue and white placemats. And then if we go into the bathroom so we hung up the little loofah and then this we hung up but then it fell so before it was like super organized but since it fell I haven't organized it and then we figured out how to make it like actually stay and then in this mirror things are still really hectic because like my mom has her stuff but this is kind of like my area that I've done I did my makeup but then this is obviously still in bags in here I've started storing some stuff so I have the extra towels extra loofahs all the soaps that we got from the spa yesterday and then last night I finished organizing my closet so this is what I did before and then I added all these piles so I have jeans here pants back here two piles of pajamas but I'm gonna get a third one of these for my pajamas this is like socks and underwear and then I have sweaters up here skirts back there and then my favorite thing that I got is a blanket a super 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 thick plush blanket it's like a light gray it's literally so soft this is from Muji and then this area I organized a lot like I reorganized my bedside table I moved some things around so it's a bit more organized I still want to get something for over here because I don't like love this frame I don't really know what this picture is of and I'd rather like something that's a little meaningful to me that's your little recap and I'll see you in the morning Today is Tuesday. Our mission for the day is phone number, bank account, medical coverage. 
Okay, hi, I'm hopping on to record a voiceover right now because after that clip, I kind of stopped vlogging, which I'm going to explain in a second, but I still wanted to kind of give context to all these clips because I did record a few clips here and there, but I kind of stopped regularly vlogging for multiple reasons, which I am going to explain. But right here, you see my mom and I, after we went to the healthcare clinic, we went to lunch at that sandwich place. We stopped by Palais Royal. We got ice cream and then we went back to Ikea to pick up a few things. I got this little bowl for my bedside table. Here is me unpacking my extra hangers, putting my pajamas into that organizer, and then I got some pillowcases for my pillows, which was exciting. Did our first load of laundry, and then here is me putting in my SIM card Finally, I have my France phone number. The next day, I filmed my lunch at the Shakespeare and Company Cafe. And then I also filmed dinner at this Italian restaurant called Gloria. It was amazing. The bread here was pizza dough balls, which were melt in your mouth. And then for appetizer, we got this calamari. That's the best calamari I've ever had in my life. And I'm obsessed with calamari. And then of course, got really great pasta. Then the next day, I met up with my camp friend Zoe because she was in Paris. We went to Pink Mama. And then after that, I went to Musée d'Orsay with my mom. I've never been to this museum, but I really wanted to go. They have this massive clock in the museum. And then through that clock, you can see Sacré-Cœur and the Louvre. And this is actually the painting that Blair Waldorf met her prince in front of in Gossip Girl. And Gossip Girl is my favorite show. So I definitely fangirled over that. And then that night, my mom and I went to this tapas restaurant. It was amazing. We are 100% going back. And then we went to a burger restaurant the next day for dinner. I love this place. I went here last year. Such nice people, such good food. Watch the Eiffel Tower sparkling. And then here is me organizing my makeup a few days later. I kind of forget when I did this, but I still wanted to film it. And now let me go get my camera. Hello, it's me again, two months later. How are we doing? First of all, this video is so long. So if you're still watching at this point, thank you so much for joining me on my Paris moving adventure. I appreciate you so much. I really put my all into this video when I had free time here and there. So I hope that it was fun and entertaining. I hope that it was worth the wait. Now, I obviously cut off after that last Tuesday and I'm here to give you an explanation as to why. Long story short, everything that my mom and I tried to do in those two weeks to set me up here in Paris went wrong. After a while, it got to be a lot. Like it was obviously very frustrating and discouraging that everything we tried to do, something had to go wrong, even the simplest things. And so the last thing I wanted to do was live through those bad experiences, get back to the apartment, and instead of like chill, relax, move on, have to make myself and my mom relive that experience by talking about it to the camera. But here is the reality of what was going on in those first two weeks when my mom was helping me set up. I might be cursed. First thing, starting off with my phone plan, should have been something very easy to do. The person at the free boutique gave me the wrong phone plan, even though he knew I was Canadian. We had so many conversations about Canada. He has friends that have moved to Quebec. So then he lied to us about being able to switch it after just a couple days. And he made us trek back to the boutique the next day only to be like, mm, I can't do it today, come back tomorrow. So then the third time that we went back to the boutique, he was on vacation. He like literally escaped us. So we dealt with his coworkers and his coworker was like, yeah, there is no way to switch your plan. Like it's done. You're gonna have to buy a new plan, which is what the guy, I guess, didn't wanna tell us because he didn't want us to get mad at him. So I had to pay for two phone plans and it was just very annoying that he, you know, lied to us and like strung us along for multiple days because the free boutique is not close. And then on top of that, after like three days of having my phone plan, both my mom and I's data just like quit. As soon as we would get into my building, nowhere else, it would just disappear. So we would have to go out onto the street to be able to use our phones or go sit in the park nearby like I don't know why that happened bad luck second thing is that the same person at the free boutique gave me the wrong Wi-Fi box he completely lied about the features he probably had no idea what he was talking about when we went back and had his co-worker fix my phone plan the co-worker was able to also fix my Wi-Fi box and he told me he canceled the first box and had like started my subscription to the second box it takes a week for the Wi-Fi to get here so I've been waiting a while for Wi-Fi and I've just been using my data except my data doesn't work here so I can only use my phone in the park 
work. Once the Wi-Fi got here, I booked an installation person. They came to install it. All was good. Turns out, literally an hour after the installation guy left, I get a call from Free saying, oops, that guy just installed the first Wi-Fi box that you had ordered. You have the wrong Wi-Fi box. We're gonna need to send you the second box. You're gonna need to send us back the first box. So annoying, I had to get like a box, packing tape, I had to ship back the first box. I had to write a handwritten letter to Free proving that I wanted the first box canceled because they just don't use emails apparently. So I get the second Wi-Fi box and I have to book a second installation person. This guy had absolutely no clue what he was doing. I could tell he had no idea how to set up a Wi-Fi box. Don't know how he got the job. He like semi set it up and then when he left, he was like, okay, it's gonna take a couple hours to boot up, which I knew. Of course, it did not take a couple hours for me. It took a couple days and it still had not booted up. So I called free and I was like, what's going on? And so they sent a third installation person to come install the Wi-Fi. I finally had Wi-Fi literally three weeks later. Next bad luck is if you follow me on TikTok, you would see that my washing machine leaks with every single load. And I obviously have to wash my clothes. I do multiple loads because my washing machine is tiny. And with every load, it leaks like a whole ocean on my floor. And that happened when my mom was here, obviously. It's been happening since the first load that we did. And that was like so frustrating frustrating. We would have to mop it up every time. We had no idea what was wrong. A repair person came. Turns out that my floor where the washing machine is, is slanted. So the washing machine is like forward. So all the water rushes forward, which is great because I can't actually fix the floor. So I'm going to have to get like a wedge to lift it up. My mom and I also had terrible luck getting Ubers. With every Uber that we ordered, we would have to wait like 10, 15, 20 minutes and still not get a driver. Or a couple times actually we would get assigned a driver and then they would cancel on us. While we would be waiting for an uber on our phones we would be like out in the street trying to hail a cab and we had terrible luck with getting cabs they were always red and then i kid you not like three to four times that we saw a green cab we would hail it and they would see us and turn red and then the one time we actually managed to get a taxi he drove us to like completely the opposite at home small because he misheard the address and then he had to drive us all the way back in traffic what a joyous time i was also scammed by the person behind the counter at the metro station i went to get my metro car and I didn't know this, but there's two cards. One for tourists, that's five to 10 euros. One that's free for locals. The guy at the metro station did not ask me if I live here, if I have like proof of address. He just gave me the tourist card. I didn't know any better. I paid for it. I find out later that day that I was supposed to get a free card because I do have an address here. So I go back to the metro station. It's a different person behind the counter and she has no idea why her coworker did that. When I told her the story, she got really angry for me, which definitely made me feel good. But then, you know, I had to go through the whole process of getting a card again, which just takes up my time. Why do these things keep happening to me? Nothing is going right. Even the simplest thing as like getting my Metro card, it's not going right. I also set up a bank account while my mom was here. And when we were in like the meeting with the bank guy, my mom was a little like wary of the plan that he was giving me, but neither of us really know much about banking. Fast forward, it turns out he did scam me. He gave me a really expensive life insurance plan that I do not need and do not want. And he signed me up for the more expensive card without telling me there was a cheaper option. Love that. So that was like a big issue that happened while my mom was here. She was very stressed about it. You know, she had like mother's instinct that something was wrong. That was something that I just didn't want to talk about in front of the camera because my mom was just very anxious about it. Then also on the day of our biggest issue, which I'm going to get to, my mom had ordered Amazon packages, obviously, because there are so many things that we needed to set up the apartment. Like these were needs, not wants, needs. And there is an Amazon pickup point literally one block from me. For some reason, these two Amazon packages got redirected to a pickup point 30 minutes away. So we walk all the way there and our packages are not there. They had arrived at 2 p.m. We got there at 6 p.m. They got picked back up by Amazon and brought back to Amazon at 5 p.m. after three hours of being there. And the reasoning was that they were waiting for too long. Like, my mom lost it at that point because it was on the same day as like our biggest issue and that's why I stopped vlogging. So now the main thing that really broke my mom and really pissed me off is that there is an agreement between Quebec and France for health insurance. So if you have health insurance in one of them, you get coverage in the other. So back in Canada, before I moved, my mom went through the whole long application process to get me this little piece of paper. And at the bottom of the paper, there's a little sentence that says, once you arrive in France, drop this paper off at this office. And it's like a little health office on that Tuesday, the 
last day that I vlogged, we went to this health office first thing in the morning and waited in line for almost two hours. And we get to the front of the line and they're like, oh, we don't do that here. And we're like, oh, cause it says that you do. And they're like, no, you have to call and make an appointment to drop this paper off. We're like, okay, that would have been good to know. And then guess where our appointment is? The exact same place that we were the day before. So we show up again. We're like, hey guys, we're back. And we actually like get into a meeting with these people and they start telling us all these lies about how my paper is expired, how it's not going to work, how this agreement is not going to work for me. And we're like, well, no, but we couldn't really argue with them because they are very like stubborn. You know, they're like, nope, expired. You're wrong. Get out. So that was very frustrating. That definitely hit my mom hard because she's a doctor and health coverage for me is very important to her. We came back home and my mom found the like legal terms and conditions of this agreement. It's like, I kid you not 50 pages long of like legal terminology in French. She read it all. She found multiple, multiple paragraphs stating that we were right and they were wrong. My dad called the office in Quebec who does like the other part of the agreement for people from France arriving in Quebec with this agreement. And the people in Quebec told my dad on the phone, like they are lying to you. Like they literally said like, I've never heard this before. She was shocked on the phone apparently. So I'm just going to mail in my health coverage paper. So that was the main reason why I took a pause on vlogging. Cause it was just the most annoying situation to be in. And I just didn't want to pick up the camera and have to relive it, have to make my mom like hear me talking about this stuff. So we were just like not in the best place because nothing works for us, you know? And then since then I've had a couple other bad luck things happen to me. My train got delayed three hours when I went on vacation with my friends. It took me three hours to get home from the airport the other day instead of one hour, which is what it's supposed to take because like a domino of bad things happened to me that would take me five minutes to explain. And I know that because my voice note to my friends was five minutes explaining what happened. I also got lightly hit by a car. Like I got hit by a car. That doesn't happen. That's rare. That's bad luck. I didn't get like totally hit by the car. I'm okay. It just like hit me. And then I like put my hands out to stop it. It was my turn to cross. I was not on my phone either. The car just like was not looking and just turned. And I like put my hands out like as it hit me. And then I just like stared at the driver and he started like apologizing. That was just like and I kept walking. A couple more bad things have happened to me. So I listened to my friend and did an egg cleanse and my results showed me that I have an evil eye curse on me. And that's very interesting because the day that we arrived in Paris, my mom surprised me with an evil eye bracelet, one for me, one for her, to give us good luck because evil eyes are supposed to represent good luck. Obviously I've had bad luck ever since I got that bracelet. Both of us have thrown them out. Don't know how to break the curse, hoping it goes away very soon. But now that you guys know the full story, that is it for my Paris moving vlog. I am so happy to finally have this video up. I'm so excited to share with you this entire experience. This is the biggest thing that I've done in my life and I'm so happy that I was able to document it all and share it with you. Thank you so much for watching this super long video. I had so much fun editing it and turning this experience into a little movie. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and as always, leave me a comment down below because I respond to every single comment and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!